Wow. You've got to realise, guys, it's so tempting for me to ask you to list your favourite Selena Gomez songs just to keep you on your toes. Oh, no, don't. I like Splish Splash. I was taking a I, I think that's the greatest. I, love, I play it all the time. And um, I think your cover of WAP is one of my favourites. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's not <laughs> WAP. It's WAP. Well, well you, you know... Said- I got in the elevator with these two weirdos. Then Tim got in the elevator. Approximately 12 minutes from now, I will be murdered. Selena, when your agent called you up about only murders in the building, a murder mystery with the Martin Short and the Steve Martin, and I say this with love, did it sound even just a tiny bit like a prank? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it felt like a prank. We should do our own true crime podcast. We're going to go down there and look around for clues. Do you want to come? Do I want to break into a dead guy's apartment and go through all his shit? Sounds like an afternoon. It is pretty insane. And I, I like, obviously hate talking about them in front of them, but they're geniuses. Oh, go ahead. (laughs) I just love the idea that your agent called you up and said, two of the three amigos are on the phone. There's something to do with a murder mystery in a podcast. Are you in? Now I'm the third amigo. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yes. There it is. And certainly the, the, the most attractive of me. <laughs> uh. Thanks. Oh, thanks. I'm Lucky Day. I'm Ned Nidalland. I'm Dusty Bottoms. So together we're the three amigos. <clears throat> I get the impression, Steve and Martin, that you express affection for each other through insults. I was wondering whether Selena has become part of the gang enough for her to be involved with those insults? No, I would say gingerly we go into that world of insulting Selena. <laughs> uh, have I insulted you? No. I, th- I think don't. actually it works the opposite. Like she is completely comfortable with insulting us. Yeah. But we are not, inco- I but we works. kid. We, uh, uh, Selena will kid with us, but we don't really kid back. Yeah. She's too, she's too powerful. <laughs> right now, the only thing that matters is that there's a killer on the loose in our building. Oh, that is a very good line. Badly delivered, but a good line. I do think it's cruel, by the way, Martin, that you insisted in your contract that you had to be the best dressed on set the whole time. <laughs> the, the purple I know. coat, I know. the scarves, like, come on. I know, it's pretty damn cool. And Steve said, um, I, I must be dressed like a a third year sociology professor at the university. <laughs> By the way, guys, I, I need to ask the big question. What are your favorite podcasts, true crime or otherwise? What are the ones where you're like, I absolutely love it? It's with the two girls. What's My favorite murder. Yeah, I know. Oh, I've got to remember that one. I listen oh, Steve. to I listen to Case File. They really deal with really horrible crimes. And they give you a warning even before you listen. You know, they say... If you need to call somebody no. at the end of this, oh you know, we have uh, places on our website that you can call for help. So it's that. Boy, what, an up, what an upbeat way to spend the afternoon. Yeah. Well, actually, it's a story. And I really like stories uh, about crime. I would love to have been in the room when Steve spent a whole day taking bad selfies of the rest of his co-stars. <laughs> Exactly. It's gorgeous. And these are... Candid photos I took of our neighbors. Why are they all selfies? So I don't draw suspicion. Selena, you're very professional, but could that have been an opportunity to crack up in front of the Steve Martin? <laughs> uh, what? I literally, That's all the time, though. I want to <laughs> laugh all the time at, at Steve. In the good way and the bad way. <laughs> <laughs> She will laugh with us and at us. Yes, yeah. And I was wondering, with this new uh, Three Amigo as part of the building here, can we expect a Selena Gomez cover of My Little Buttercup? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, no. My little buttercup has the sweetest smile. The second most brilliant idea you've had in this interview. We don't want to lose, we don't want to lose viewers. (laughs) <laughs> no, Selena singing My Little Buttercup is a is a the, the absolute perfect mismatch. I don't know if I'll be doing that. I'm yeah. Sorry. You've got to realize, guys, it's so tempting for me to ask you to list your favorite Selena Gomez songs just to keep you on your toes. Oh, no, don't. I like Splish Splash. I was taking a I, I think that's the greatest... <laughs> 
I could count the legs on an octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, love, I play it all the time. And um, I think your cover of WAP is one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's not <laughs> WAP. It's WAP. Well, well you know. Said... <laughs> WAP. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, no. Well, Selena okay. introduced us to that song. We, you know. <laughs> I know. To us, to us, it was only a rumor until she says, hey, listen to this. I would, play, was so great. I, would, I would play them in appropriate rap songs. And then I was called yeah. to the set as she was still reading all the lyrics to Steve. <laughs> Steve yeah. keeps going, go back, you know. <laughs> WAP is, is, the, is the naughtiest thing I've seen or heard since the movie Pillow Talk. <laughs> um, Wonder how it would be to have someone to pillow talk with me. <sighs> Selena, I've got to know what other songs you played for them. I mean, if that uh, was just I one played, of several. I don't f with you by Big Sean. I played You're Such a Stupid. <laughs> I love it. I call you West. <laughs> yeah, we have to laugh. I need to incorporate, you have to incorporate that somehow into your stage show. Like Martin and Steve, please open with a <laughs> Top Hat and Tails like yeah. duet. This, this needs to happen. <laughs> Not a bad like, idea. Uh, What's it on? I'm st such a stupid uh, it's hot uh, it's Stupid <laughs> I love it. I was just wondering whether you could possibly tell us, you know, we've talked about podcasts before and you have fun with the whole in the closet thing. It's so hot in here. Do we have to do this in a closet? The acoustics are better. And trust me, you need acoustics. I'm going to pass out. But what are your least favorite podcast habits with presenters and hosts? Because I've got a list a mile long. <laughs> it's easy for me to say. It's it's opening chit chat. Oh. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Oh, I went to a party last night. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Anyway, we're here. We're in the studio. Oh boy. Grab that chair. You seem awfully far from the mic. Bill. Get on with it. <laughs> Can anybody top that? Is that vodka, Marty? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know what? Don't you go judging me. <laughs> I'm going to do a day of this. Come on. Yeah, I'm not doing it alone. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Martin. This what, is what a, this is is a screwdriver. There? What time is it where you are? Five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> no, no, no. It is indeed 10 hours from now. It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's evening, and I am absolutely wrecked. I'm being proper <laughs> random. Um, uh, guys, thank you so much. That was genuinely incredible. And um, I'll you. just take a 5% cut if you do end up doing any of my absolutely. ideas. Hey, All right, not okay. that high, but, but certainly something. Yeah. 0.5. Okay, I've been worked yeah. down. That's good. Um, all right, folks. Have hey, a great one. You. Really Bye. appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum. <laughs>